Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna do some real fun. We're actually gonna create the camera class itself. And uh, we did a lot of prepping for this and stuff, so this is this is gonna be real nice. And uh, we're not gonna complete everything in one video because there's a bunch of stuff to go through. But uh, we'll try to get through as much as we can. Um, but if I just... Before I get started, let me just ask you to check out the description box. You got a bunch of useful links down there. You got my other playlists, especially the C++ playlists are really good um, when you're following through with this series. Also, you got my Twitter, follow me on there. You got my Discord where you can find me if you want. Um, my support page, also drop a like and subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, let's just uh, get going here. So, the first step is going to be just to do some small fixes in game. That's CPP. I, uh, I made an update here for a rotation you can add that if you want just like this for mesh zero so it's gonna kinda make that mesh rotate around the y-axis and we can see it a little better but I'll, I'll activate, the, activate that a little later um, and then we're gonna go ahead into update uniforms where I have this look at and uh, we're just gonna remember that but we want to go into init uniforms and want to remove this camera position also and just take that out and put it right down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right down there. So I'm gonna update the camera position. Now the reason for that is we're gonna see that a little later. We're gonna actually make a camera class now and then it's gonna have its own view matrix and position. So I wanna send it in and update it because we're gonna be updating that position regularly, right? Um, so let's just go ahead create a new item here and we're gonna go into header, uh, make a header here camera.h it's not that complicated it's more the understanding of it is complicated so I like this approach I like creating the camera playing around with it uh, testing out stuff with the variables see what changes what and kind of learn just give yourself a week a good week to learn why stuff works as it does in the camera class okay um, I'm gonna go ahead into lips and I'm going to just go ahead actually and uh, Take, what do we need here we need all some of the vector stuff we need some of this let's just copy this into the camera.h like that and we'll see what we need we need all the vector stuff we don't need vec2 remove that glm we need vec3 vec4 might not need vec4 um, transform fine we can use that type pointers fine uh, i think no actually we don't need that as well glue all this stuff vector uh, F stream string not required I stream just for testing so this is cool this is a nice little thing here and then we're gonna just go ahead and do GLM no class camera okay so this is gonna be our class structure here private private parts and then public parts as usual so I think in the first video I'm just gonna explain a little bit how the camera is gonna work and just create some variables and in the video after this we're actually gonna finish it off and then we're going to yeah we're gonna just go ahead and and make it work so it's a good way to divide stuff up because if I do everything in one video you're gonna get tired and it's gonna be really annoying so trust me on this it's better to just do it like this but just go ahead and create a camera constructor and put a GLM uh, vec3 position here because we're gonna create a camera which is gonna have a position and a direction it's gonna look at okay so imagine that just placing a real camera somewhere in the world it has a position and it has a direction right so we're gonna do that we're gonna do glm vec3 direction and then glm vec3 world up now this is important because I'm gonna explain uh, why the camera works it as, as it does the camera is basically a its own little if you look at this image if you go here to learnopengl.com check out the camera stuff read everything from from word to word like read everything from the beginning to the bottom I promise you it's really really worth it do it several times try to understand why stuff works as it does it's really important please do but basically if, if you look at this last image here you have a camera and it has its own coordinate system like I said in the last video a camera is basically just a coordinate system where you um, multiply every vertex in the whole scene with that or in the whole world with that coordinate system and then 
that stuff kind of moves around the camera. That's how a camera works. You don't move the camera. The camera actually moves the whole world around it. So that's kind of how that works. And for that, we need to create a coordinate system. And to do that, we need three vectors. We need a direction, a right vector, and a up vector. And these three are going to be key. And also a position from where we're going to get these vectors. Okay? So these four, actually, these four vectors are very important. And just go ahead and read here. It tells you why you do stuff as you do. The look at matrix is basically the one you multiply everything with. It has all these three direction thingies, direction up and all that stuff, right, up and direction. And then you have your position as well. So doing that, GLM look at actually does all this calculation for you, but it's still good to know. So go ahead and check that out. You got the videos showing you how to do it. And basically this uh, page is built up so that it goes from the basic to a very very good functional uh, camera class and also these three are important Euler angles we're gonna be working with that there is a problem with these where you can get a gimbal lock but we won't be looking at that uh, right now that basically locks all the angles up so you can't kind of move it properly uh, but it's hard to reach the Euler angle I think or the the gimbal lock uh, but still we'll be working with that maybe in the future I'll explain it Anyway, you got your pitch, your yaw, and your roll. I want you to remember these three. Keep looking at this. And why sine and cosine works the way it does. Basically, sine and cosine is just taking an angle and giving you a length back. And what are we working with? We're working with vectors. So, uh, well, length is really important, a distance from 0 to 1. So, you get either a distance in x, y, or z. That's kind of how that works. Uh, so just read this, try to understand it. If you don't really understand it, it's okay, it's fine. It's not the biggest of deals, but, uh, but it's still good to do do so. So let's go go ahead and get started here. So in the private part, the most important part is the GLM mat4 view matrix. Okay, the view matrix is very important, obviously, because that's what we're going to be returning in the end here. So I'm just going to do functions, and we're going to be returning that. Another thing that's important in the private section here is the void update camera vectors. So as we move the mouse and stuff, as we move stuff around, we're going to update those vectors. And then when we send the view matrix back, we're going to update them and send it back in a matrix kind of form. Okay. So what did we just talk about? We had GLM vec3 position, GLM vec3 um, front. GLM VEC3 up and GLM VEC3 right. Okay, so I'm gonna actually keep these in order here. I'm gonna do front, right, and up. Uh, and then also we need a important thing is VEC3 world up. And this is mostly for initialization. Okay, so this is really good to have. It tells you the up vector of the world, um, which we'll be sending in here. This is gonna be world up. So there we go. Then we have our three geo floats, geo float uh, pitch, geo float yaw, and geo float um, roll. So I hope you remember the image, the three different ways to do stuff, yaw, pitch, and roll. And this is basically going to come from our mouse. And if you remember in the last video, we made this uh, mouse input function, which gives us the offset. How much we move the mouse this is basically going to be changing these different values and through that we're going to be calculating um, our front right and up vectors okay so that's basically how that's going to work we've got a bunch of stuff here uh, let me just think if it's correct here um, let's see also we're going to need two more things we're going to need a geo float uh, movement speed and a geo float sensitivity just so we can easily change up how much we're gonna move stuff around so it's a really good thing um, and let's see here da, 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 da. let me look at my cheat sheet if I forgot anything I've been good this time I haven't really looked at my cheat sheet that much and then we got our update camera vectors. we're gonna fill all this in in the next video but for now let's just keep working at what we need so we're gonna need the constructor and then the accessors obviously and we're gonna need to get this camera vector back somehow or the view matrix so this no const geo m mat4 
like this get view matrix and we're not going to do a const there because we're going to be changing it so the first thing that's going to happen we're going to say this view matrix equals glm look at this position this position plus this front and then this up okay that's how we're going to return it and then we're going to do this update camera vectors boom so basically we set this up we update it and we send it out okay uh, return this view matrix easy peasy nothing more simple than this okay this is so we can move it around and stuff then we're gonna need a const glm vec3 three, three, um, get position obviously we're gonna need that because we want to get the position and send it to the shader and also to yeah do calculations with the camera position so it's really important we're gonna do that and this can be a const and all that's gonna do is return this position easy peasy nothing more complicated so you got the code there you got all of this stuff and uh, and yeah that's pretty much it for that also before let's see before actually this should happen first right because that's how I want to do it that's gonna help us create the view matrix yeah sorry about that so that should happen first then we're gonna have a void update input function as well we're gonna need that const float reference DT const int direction for the movement direction given by the user okay so that's actually something we can we can look at later um, and then const const double reference where is that damn thing the reference offset x const double reference offset y okay so there you go you got a few things here going this is going to be our update input here we're going to update the uh, mouse input and the keyboard input so i'm going to create those two as well update mouse input const float just copy paste all of this const float and i'm just going to remove direction because we don't need that like this and then we're going to update the um a bunch of these pitch variables and stuff in here so uh update pitch yaw and roll but i'm not going to do that in this video this update mouse input dt uh, off set x off set y okay boom boom and then also we're going to create a function void update keyboard input const float just copy paste these again and that's all i'm going to need the direction as well and update position vector so just going to update the position moving around and stuff like that and then this update keyboard input as well dt direction and i'm going to do that first at the top here there we go so that's good and as we can see again the get new matrix updates everything and sends it out so this is going to be our main kind of thing we're working with here and we're going to be updating the inputs and stuff as well um, so that's that's a good thing um, easy peasy and I think that's about almost all of the stuff we're gonna need let me just check again so I'm not lying to you uh, boom 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 the mouse input okay well that looks fine well anyway this video has been good we're gonna be working with this in the next video as well we're gonna fill in all of these important stuff until then um, please just go ahead and try some stuff out go ahead in here into game.h just include camera here and create a camera object all right and see if that works for you and also play around with this uh, this stuff in game.cpp where you add this rotation in the update right here just add this rotation that what that's gonna do is let me just show you how that looks is actually just going to rotate around and around and around that little object there see so it's just going to do that for you right now and you can move around and you can watch it rotate 
Yeah, no, it looks kind of nice. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please, I hope you I hope you learned something. Please just drop a like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord channel. Join me there if you have questions. I'm sure you have a bunch of questions on 3D. I'm not the best at 3D, but at least hopefully I can help you a little bit. Uh, or you can ask each other there as well. It's a little mini community you can join. Uh, so just go ahead and check that out if you want to. Um, yeah, thank you again for all the support. Best of luck with learning. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. All right, bye-bye.